Greetings from Northeast Portland and from the Capitol and from Salem. Uh, listen, I'm not going to talk long. I know you all have been uh, here for a long day already. Uh, I just wanted to update you on what's going on in Salem right now. Now, as you probably know, uh, it's a passage of 91. was just the beginning of a process. Laws don't spell out all the procedures required to make them work, and some of that's being hammered out by the Oregon Liquor Control Commission as well as some of, the, some of it in the legislature. And in fact, yesterday, the OLCC put together a, a group of committees that are going to look at rules and licensing and quality and financing and extracts and infused items and growers. They're going to look at all those different issues. But uh, I want to tell you, I'm not going to talk about those. I, want to, I know that I was asked to speak because of a bill I introduced in the beginning of the, in the start the process of cleaning up some of the effects of the so-called war on drugs. Unfortunately, that bill, 3372, probably isn't going to make it through the process this time. Fortunately, another bill will. Okay? It won't do everything, I had, I had hoped, but as Mick Jagger w would have been talking about at the legislative process, he, he said, you can't always get what you want. So what are we trying to do? Well, it's important to recognize the extreme criminalization of certain marijuana-related activities has done more harm to our communities than the drug itself ever could. Combined with Measure 11, it put a lot of people behind, the bar, behind bars and gave a lot of people felony records for actions that will not be criminal in the future. A stent in prison is not the end of one's so-called debt to society. A felony record can follow you for the rest of your life, closing doors to housing and employment, disrupting families and dragging the whole community down. We should have learned that from the experience of alcohol prohibition in the 1920s and thir early 30s, but we had to run the experiment again, it seems. And now as we come to our senses and create a system in which cannabis is legal but regulated in the future, we also need to do something about the harm that's been done by the prohibition in the past. And that's why I introduced a bill, I introduced a bill to create a path to the expungement of records of nonviolent marijuana-related records. And, and the reduction of sentences for similar offenses for people who are still in custody or under supervision. It's, this is a high priority, for, high priority for me to do something about this because while I won't deny that crime affects our community and I won't deny that incarceration sometimes is an appropriate response to criminal acts, I also believe that it has been used too often where it makes no sense at all, creating criminals out, out of people who are doing no harm. We need to fix that for the future and also reach back and fix what has happened in the past. Now, as I said, 3372 is not going to make it, but details matter a lot in the legislative process, and we just couldn't work out through the details in the time that we had. I understand, however, that there will be another bill coming through the uh, Committee on Implementing, the Senate, the, the Senate and House Committee on Implementing Measure 91. In the, in the, district, in the uh, Capitol, that's called the Joint Committee on Marijuana, just so that you know. Yes, it's a joke, and everyone seems to like it. I, well, except for some of the folks here. Uh, I urge you to use the online Oregon Legislative Information System, OLIS. Look that up, O-L-I-S, to keep informed about what the committee is doing. And I hope you'll pay more attention to this, more attention um, to more than this one issue, because make. I want you to make this issue your gateway issue for more involvement in our policy making process. Our system works better when people watch and take part, and that means you. And I want to also just thank you for coming out and, and being so active in the, in the campaign last year and stay active. We need to have you to continue to listen to what's going on, to watch, to talk with everyone. Know who your legislators are. Do you know who your legislators are? How many of you know who your legislators are? All right, if you don't, you need to look it up and find out who that is and go and talk with them. Let them know that you're out there. Let them know that you're watching and that you want to have some things changed. As I said, I don't think my particular bill is going to make it through, but I believe we will get a bill that will come through in some form that will work, that will make, certainly make things a little better uh, for the folks who have been incarcerated, uh, who have records, and who are, who are presently incarcerated. Maybe we'll get some changes, and that will only because, become because you decide to work for it. So thank you very much. Take care.